A few people requested to see the setup of the FP10 with the uh, with Piano Tech, so I'll just show you that very quickly. It's very straightforward, um, particularly straightforward if you use the cable. Um, I don't tend to use Bluetooth, but that is an option. But I, I won't go through that just because I don't tend to bother using Bluetooth. Um, all you do, I'll just start up um, Piano Tech, which is just a standalone. Um, VST and um, you can you can actually download a free demo um, of this which is it's okay it, it basically has all the functionality but it, it limits uh, some notes don't play uh, which is quite annoying depending on what you, which key the piece you're trying to play through is but um, obviously it is just a demo so they needed to re restrict it somehow um, but it will give you a good indication um, of how easy it is to use and what it sounds like and uh, it's totally free to download so um, I would recommend people try that if they're interested um, so on the FP10 very straightforward there is a um, USB, square USB socket at the back here um, and that's where you connect. This other one I believe is simply for updates um, at some point in the future. Um, the only other connection is my foot pedal switch. You can see it's the very basic uh, foot pedal that comes with the instrument. Um, not ideal but it certainly works um, as you'd expect it to as just an on-off no half pedaling and this is the headphone jack socket which is just a 3.5 millimeter um, at the moment that is plugged in to my mixer down here the only reason um, it isn't plugged or the headphones aren't directly plugged in is because um, I have been recording the audio directly out of the FP10 at the same time as I've been recording um, on piano tech so that I can so that people can directly compare the the output from the FP10 internal sound versus um, what it sounds like with piano tech um, so you so see you know you, you, you don't really need that um, but um, that's how you would do it if you wanted to record both at the same time uh, in the future I will probably just use piano tech because it is so straightforward I'll show you now. So the FP10 is on. I don't think it makes much difference, but you just take the cable that's plugged in, plug it into um, an available USB, and almost well immediately, as soon as that, um, as soon as that is attached, you are now linked. And this worked the very first time that I did it. No setup was required. Um, one thing I should, I suppose, mention. Um, various settings for your audio I have um, downloaded as IO for all which is free and is um, provides as, as IO and allows you to get down to this 5.8 millisecond um, sort of uh, latency uh, which means that you can play you know the, the latency between when you press the keys here and when the instrument sounds um, and 5.8 is short enough that you can play it but to be fair I tend to monitor using my headphones and generally if it sounds good on the internal um, FP10 um, sounds then it will sound at least as good and usually better uh, when you play back the MIDI file that's been recorded um, so that's it and with Piano Tech itself just it does do auto recording but I generally prefer to just click it into record mode and um, it's ready to uh, to record so that's just um, stop recording there and it's telling me 15 seconds ago I recorded 11 notes uh, in four seconds and it also I mean this these are previous short snippets I've um, played earlier today that it's also recorded um, and you can you know it auto saves these but you can save them with a different name if you um, if you have one that you particularly like and want to keep um, but once it's once it's in there 
um, yeah, you just press play and it will play it back and you can you can then change um, all of these other settings uh, or sorry all of these other settings to adjust the tone of the uh, of the piano and yes once you're happy with it just click file export to export to audio and uh, it gives you the option to record it and also normalize the output volume which is very nice and you can uh, save it as WAV or an MP3 which is also very good. All in all, highly recommended and very straightforward.